All right. Not good at videos, so I'll um, I'll do my best, and you'll just have to uh, bear with me. Uh, I think this is easier than um, writing it all down and posting loads of pictures. Well, for me, it is. Okay. Um, where do I start? Very happy with this game. Uh, very, very, very happy. Um, but I, I wasn't very impressed with the sound. I was expecting a really good sound system for the money. And, uh, well, you know, it, it throws out a lot of noise, but not very well, in my opinion. So um, after quite a bit of thought and a few videos, um, uh, not videos, but, uh, you know, posts and um, one guy in the States who um, who did a bit with his sub and uh, a new amp, I thought, you know, I'm never going to be um, completely happy with this. So um, I thought I'd give it a go. I got, didn't have nothing to lose, really. Everything can be returned to stock. It's um, I've got all the gear. It's just, I just don't see I will. Um, <clears throat> so I, I've, I've completely ripped everything out. And I've started again. And I'll just show you. Where I am with this. That's one thing I've learned to do on all machines now, pull that plunger. Because, uh, Taking out the coil otherwise. And I fitted these silver line balls, which uh, I found uh, really good. They're great in this. They give a lot of reflection off, which is nice. Uh, yeah, so, um, I don't know what you can see there. Oh, you can see quite a bit. Um, I took the sub out, I took the shaker out, um, and I took the PSUs, lifted them up that. I fitted Dynamat. Just from my experience of Dynamat in vehicle doors, it takes out a lot of the, um, the vibration. So I thought I'd try it in here. I tried it on the walls, but it looked crap, so, uh, uh, and it didn't do really do anything, so I took I took it out again. I wasn't I wasn't particularly happy looking at it like that. Um, has it made a difference? I, I couldn't I couldn't really say. Um, I'm thinking to myself it does because I've done the work. So uh, let's see if you can see that. Let's open the door. Took the coin box out, and through uh, various chats with um, car people and um new forest pinball really helpful uh really helpful chat with him um decided to uh go with the following uh, equipment purely through choice and experience and um what else oh, what's going on with this um thing oh, the legs are a bit wonky there we go i'm using a um a artist easel <laughs> for my phone, my phone stand. Um, so the problem was uh, there's no, it was just pure source uh, coming from, pure sound coming from the screen into the existing amp here, which was then sending everything out, even though it's got a sub output on it, it's still sending uh, a, a lot down to the sub that shouldn't be. Uh, and you just couldn't it just it just wasn't working so um first thing was to try and separate the source which i found this uh through uh chance i live next well, very close to a big uh, car audio place so um that was really helpful and this gives me full sub control with a hertz um option and then i've got two bass mid high uh, and the fader isn't necessary for um the back box speakers with its own independent volume, uh, I have the output still at 50 from, um, 
just seeing if I was recording then <laughs> from from the monitor. Uh, when I before I did all this, I played around with the amp. I tried three different settings through through a lot of time uh, with the music. Problem is when you've got it in uh, test mode, and then when you're playing, you get different sounds when you're playing, and the volume's slightly higher as well. Um, but ultimately, you could still here the speakers weren't able to deliver the set the amp wasn't able to process the sound and the sub was distorting and i hear it now really clearly when i watch uh, people streaming you can really hear the uh, the bass just um, flattening out um so yeah so this was really helpful without it uh, i couldn't have done it um my choice in jail audio probably i didn't need to spend 80 quid on those but i've got them in i've got that sub in the jail sub in my in my car and uh, i've I cane it and uh, it's it's brilliant. There was a JL sub that I wanted. Uh, the reason there's two that I could have chose from this and the JL because they are shallow mount. The sub chamber is about uh, a third of a cubic foot, I think. Uh, it's pretty small. It's a small space, and 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 that sub is designed. The problem with JL at the moment is there is a um, a stock issue in the UK for another couple of months. And it was another 60 quid. So I went with this Pioneer. Again, far more uh, quality and, and power than needed. But uh, the, the whole point of this was to get quality, not have it, um, you know, not have it as a party machine. Although, you know, it can be. Um, so, yeah, so I've gone with those two. Then any decent quality uh, 3.5 jack to phono. Uh, that I just picked up because it was in the car audio place and they do house audio as well, so I just thought it was there. The um, power supply. The chap in the States used the same supply, but he had a 450, and you can't get the 450 here in the UK. Um, well, you probably could, but I just couldn't be bothered trying as hard as was needed to. So the 350, which is about 29 amps, and my amp is 30 amps, um, uh, 30 amp fuse, I'm never gonna use that on full power. So this was plenty. I'm probably pulling between five and eight amps. Uh, with this, just a good quality amp that was able to give me uh, the four channels. I've got the channel one and two for the back box, and then I've bridged three and four for the sub. And then this is some uh, secondary Dynamat. A box of this was 50 quid. Um, and that's what I use, it's just sticky back, really easy. Yeah, so really that's 20 quid, it was 150, that was 80, that was 140. Um, compared to what's in there, which is a 35 pound sub, um, a 25 pound amp, and um, well, they probably came in a cracker. So uh, here it is. There we go. Doing my best. Mounted it all here. I've used vibration uh, mount bobbins or vibration mounts or motor mounts, whatever you want to call them. They're like a uh, a rubber a rubber cylindrical um, well, a cylindrical piece of rubber with uh, either a, a male or a female thread. Um, they come in multi-packs, uh, so this has been mounted off. I'm going to extend this because when this goes off on mine, the glass rattles when you destroy the the reactor pretty bad. So um, it's now dulled it down. I'm going to lift it up even more and just add some more on because um, the ones that I wanted are about 20 mil and... Um, I think they come in a larger thread size. I've used M5. <clears throat> and I just, I, I can upgrade, I can change all this in the future, but for, for, for now, I just wanted to get it to get it going. So they're on mounts. Because this is next to that, I've put that on a mount as well. Um, because we're near the sub box, that's on, a, um, that's on a mount as well. And I've also done it with the amp. And this has just got a 3M sticky tape holding it on the top. This. I uh, couldn't find a way. I didn't want to uh, spend hours constructing a um, uh, a system of a bracket. Um, 
so yeah, I've I've com I've taken all the speaker wires out. I've taken all the, the everything out that was to do with audio. This is tapped off the 230 volt input to the um, 5 and 12 volt Meanwell uh, PSU at the back, and I've run all my audio now separately from the back box down through its own copex, not mixed in with the 230 volt that it originally was. Um, the amp is fed from here, the um, EQ is fed from here, and I'm potentially thinking about some under cabinet lighting that I'll fit myself and I can run that off there as well. And I'll down rate the fuse in the amp as well so that I'm covered. Um, I have electrical experience or I'm an electrician, so all this to me was um, pretty straightforward. I, I guess to most people it might be a bit daunting, but I, I think, you know, just with a, if you did choose to do something, it's, um, it's not that hard. It really isn't. So yeah, so I can just open the coin door there and faff around with the sound, although I've got it pretty much nailed down now. Um, I'm wary of uh, bass vibration coming up, but then I played um, Demolition Man on steroids yesterday at someone's house and they've got um, a full on sound system in it. And they've got quite a lot of pinball experience and I was chatting to them about it and uh, I'm not so worried as I was previously. Right, let's pull this down. Slowly. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see at the back. You can't. At the back I've just pulled everything in from the side a little bit just to give it a bit more airflow. The um, distribution board uh, I've pulled in and the PSU I've pulled in and just mounted it a bit better, secured it a bit better than what it was and run the dynamite around the back and then just tidied up the flexes um, going up to the back box. Right, I'll pop this back down. I don't like this bit. Right, keys. I think, you know, I could keep playing and experimenting with this, with sound absorption. The uh, the glass, you know, could rattle a little bit, but um, I'll look into that. These didn't mount as easily as I thought. I had to just uh, notch out the, um, the corners a little bit, but that's it all in there. And then the flex is coming up here, keeping it separate. Right. Turn it on. One sec. One thing the um, chap in the States did was fit a time delay to uh, uh, for the remote start for the amps which uh, I want to do, but um, uh, to stop the popping when you turn it on, because now it's um, amplified, excuse the pun. Um, but it also happens when you turn it off. So then I've got to figure out a way of delaying it or turning off the amp uh, a, a second before I turn the machine off, or the machine turns off. As you'll see now. I, I guess to uh, hear this properly, you're going to have to not play it through your phone and have it through some stereo so you can hear it. I think I'll put, I'll look at putting some um, soundproof foam. Maybe inside just to help take the, um, just ease the, the noise from the sub coming back up. Oh yeah, here's a point. Uh, the hole for the sub was 220, uh, which allowed, let me just get this one. Which allows it to be 
sort of here but most subs are 230 which is the width of this so i had to router out the hole to make it bigger i have mounted the sub uh, on the top just in case i ever wanted to move the machine or sit it down although i do have the plastic grill still to be fitted on the front uh, you could have mounted the sub from underneath but i ain't taking it out and uh, i don't need to service it or get to it so um that's what i did and another thing that i'm playing with is the the ports i've got one port blocked at the moment um just with a tissue can't seem to find a good two inch uh, plug and it does change it. It, it it sort of flattens out the base when you have the ports open but when now i've got I, i'm picking up uh, far more than was intended frequency wise uh, if I have the uh, both ports blocked, it's it's pretty strong on the base. So let's see where are we? So I I, I kind of set it the same. I've got one for really late at night, or two and three for sort of like ten o'clock, and then like now we'll have it on six if I haven't adjusted the. Um, volume too much. Welcome to the future. Don't judge me on my gameplay. I try and get the noises um pot bumper. The other noise that's been been difficult to get my head around is when you hit a target uh, and you activate it, then when you hit it again, you get a sort of a, a dead, like a do do sound. And that comes from the back box speakers with the bass. So very fine adjustment on that. Otherwise it, it, it's there, but it gets a bit too overpowering. Here we go. It's a lot of fun on eight when you're on your own. Destroyed. 
damage to any connections on this than the uh, than the cell. Anyway, I hope that helps. 